an opportunity for us to try to keep our streak alive against Cal. Yes, at UCLA, they refer to it as the streak. The Bruins have won 18 straight football games from the California Golden Bears. As a matter of fact, UCLA's mastery over Cal here at Memorial Stadium in Berkeley goes back even longer, 22 years. The last time the Bears beat UCLA in Berkeley was in 1968. So now it's 1990, and it's homecoming on the UC Berkeley campus. Will UCLA continue its domination, or will Cal end two decades of frustration? Red, 45. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Touchdown. Touchdown. Welcome to the Bay Area for Eurosports Roundup of Week 8 of the Pac-10 season. UCLA at the California Golden Bears is our big game, and later we'll also have highlights of the Trojans hosting the Arizona Wildcats. First though, let's take a look at the week's other results. Washington continued their race to the Rose Bowl with a 52-16 demolition of the Stanford Cardinal. Oregon were 20-point victors over Arizona State, and the Washington State Cougars put up 55 points to Oregon State's 24. So, the Pac-10 standings with two results to come look like this. Washington strengthened their grip at the top of the table. The next four teams are all featured tonight, and all need victory to keep up with the Huskies. Down in the bottom five, Washington State have pulled to an even record with this week's win, but the other four teams are now well and truly out of the race for that Pac-10 Rose Bowl berth. So, with UCLA and Cal ready to lock horns, let's join our commentator. Cal comes in here on a roll. The Bears have won three in a row. And that is Cal's best start in eight years. And they have a great ground game, the WW attack, namely Anthony Wallace and Russell White. Yeah, Anthony Wallace, a JC transfer out of Pasadena City College. Every time he's touched the ball, he's really an explosive runner. And right here, he picks up a few more yards. And so far, Wallace has 621 yards to his credit this year. But of course, the big play guy, the breakaway guy for the Bears is sophomore Russell White out of Crespi High in the Los Angeles San Fernando Valley area. And Russell White, the first time he touched the ball for Cal this year, a 99-yard kickoff return versus Miami. Of such, legends are born, and White has seven touchdowns to his credit. Now, UCLA has a potent ground game of its own, namely the pair of uh, Brian Brown and Kevin Smith. Brian Brown coming off three excellent weeks and especially a great game against San Diego State a week ago, 175 yards rushing. And of course, Kevin Smith, who compliments him so well, getting a big block as well. Brian Brown has had three games, 100 yards or more, going for number four here today. But Smith is the number two rusher for the Bruins. Yeah, and his versatility really adds a lot to the Bruin attack. He's such a big, powerful runner that he really can dominate the line of scrimmage. Well, we know that UCLA can score, Cal can score. It should be a very entertaining game here today. There's the Donahue record, and Donahue all smiles here as he talks with some of the officials prior to the start of the game. On the other side of the field is Bruce Snyder, who was the former head coach at Utah State and assistant at SC, and Snyder has the Cal program moving upward. Bruce Snyder, 50-year-old head coach in his fourth year with the California Golden Bears. That's what they call tight walk hill. Whoops, look out. They, they have the cannons go off right prior to kickoff, and it really shocks everybody. But the people up in Tightwad Hill, they're used to it. UCLA won the toss, and they have elected to receive. And Brian Brown will be deep for UCLA as Robbie Keane prepares to kick off for the Bears. Brian Brown, key man certainly for UCLA. And Keen, I would guess, may even try to kick away from Brown, but we'll see. Crowd of about 50,000 on hand on this beautiful October Saturday afternoon. And we're underway here at Strawberry Canyon. Brown, six yards deep, kneels down, and the Bruins will start out from their own 20-yard line. UCLA and Cal. And at quarterback, of course, for the UCLA Bruins, Tommy Maddox, a 19-year-old redshirt freshman from Bedford, Texas. 
Tommy Maddox will have a, a key receiver in Reggie Moore, certainly. He's the leading receiver for the Bruins. 22 catches. Long gain is 40 yards and two touchdowns. Nowitzki, Spalding, Zeno, Lynn, and Fuller. The offensive line for UCLA, and here is the first play from scrimmage. On the UCLA 20-yard line. Right away, it's Kevin Smith. Nothing there. He's going to lose a couple of yards. The officials may mark his progress to the 19. A loss of one by that roused Cal defense. Rhett Hall, John Belli, and Joel Dixon. The three-man front. Odom, Ayer, Redman, and Collier with uh, Redman, a key man, certainly, in the linebacking core. And look out for John Hardy. He's a tough man in the defensive backfield for Cal. So a loss of a yard. It'll be second and 10 now for UCLA. Second and 11 at the 19-yard line. Maddox will run it. Not very far. Rhett Hall, the right tackle, burst in there and uh, floored him at the 18. One more yard loss for UCLA. So the Bruins have been going backward here. Loss of a yard. Tommy Maddox just dropping back the pass. Really no one to throw to. Red Hall right there to stop him. The Bruins will operate out of the I formation. And now Brown moves up. He's a wing back. Lone running back is Kevin Smith. Bears expecting a pass and they're going to get it from Maddox if he can get it away. He can't get it away. Stopped at the 20 yard line. I would say this California team is really roused for an all out effort. Red Hall has had two tackles on the first series. The first offensive series for UCLA. So on fourth down. It'll be punt time for UCLA. Courtney Kyler who has been averaging almost 41 yards a punt awaiting the snap from center John Winnie. Brian Craig's is deep for Cal. He's standing in the 36. Oh! He still gets it away. Craig's at the 45 and is put down at the 49 yard line. 36 yards on the punt, a four yard return, and the tackle made by James Malone. But watch the UCLA punter, Courtney Kyler, dropping the ball. That was a perfect, perfectly good snap. Well, the snap was right there. The ball just hit him right in the head. And it's a good thing for UCLA that Cal decided not to rush on that particular occasion. Kyler still being able to get the kickoff. But now the Bears with a great opportunity in the first minute of the game. First down at the California 49 yard line it's Anthony Wallace into the middle Wallace goes to the 46 yard line of UCLA let's check over that California offense the quarterback is Mike Pulaski he's a 205 pound junior and uh, Wallace just carried the ball he's certainly a key back for the Bears and Treggs of course a wide receiver for Cal Troy Azine is 6 7 and 272 pounds key man in the offensive line for the Bears it's Wallace again and Wallace dropped it around the 43 of UCLA let's check over the UCLA defense Walker on what and Brian Kelly Kelly is starting a defensive tackle Pfeiffer Shaw Argo and Keaton and Roman Pfeiffer is back in there at a linebacking spot the defensive secondary Gray Lambert Darby and Eric Turner Turner has four intercepted passes to his credit this year. Wallace. And Wallace goes to the 36 yard line. Tackle by Dion Lambert, the right cornerback. So the California Bears are on the move and they'll bring the sticks up. A first down for California. Well, you see the numbers on Anthony Wallace and such an explosive runner right that last play. You see him just bursting through the line of scrimmage. Eric Turner there to make a big hit. Cal with a great opportunity with a first down at the UCLA 36 yard line. Pulaski back to throw. He completes it to Greg Zumal. Zumal inside the 25. 11 yards on the pass play. The tackle is made by Stacy Argo. This Cal team really fired up against UCLA because the Bears have dropped 18 straight football games to UCLA. You have to go back to 1971, the last victory for Cal over UCLA. 
Let's check out the referee today and see what he's got. That's Bill Richardson. Dead ball personal foul, California. First down and 25. Oh, that'll stop a drive. First and 25. No, and it sure will. Look at Bruce Snyder. He says, I, I, I don't know what happened out there. Yeah, dead ball, meaning it happened long after the play, and I'm sure that's what Coach Bruce Snyder's a little bit upset about. One of his players obviously lost some composure and really puts him in a hole here. Referee today is Bill Richardson. He's a fire chief in the San Francisco Fire Department. Lives up in Novato. So the ball now goes back to the 40-yard line. First and 25 for the Bears at the UCLA 40. And off to Wallace. And Wallace is corralled at the 33 by Dion Lambert. Obviously, Cal has come out here saying that, look, we're going to run that ball on UCLA. Boy, they sure are. And, and what they did that time, you see the numbers on Anthony Wallace, Altadena, California, transfer from Pasadena City College. On the last play there, they really spread UCLA's defense out. And like you said, Mike, they're really apt to rush the ball quite a bit today. Wallace just picked up eight, so it'll be second and 17 for the Bears from the UCLA 32. Wallace in the middle. And he goes close to the 31-yard line, still there. First man to make contact was Brian Kelly with some help from inside linebacker Meech Shaw. Ball is spotted down at the 31-yard line, a pickup of a yard. Call it third and 16 now for Cal. Five defensive backs employed by UCLA, Gray, Darby, Turner, Lambert, and Damian Lyons. Anticipating a Pulaski pass. He's got time. Now he's going to run out of time, and he just did get the pass away. Racine Keaton was right on his back, riding him piggyback. The outside pressure from linebacker Racine Keaton. Racine Keaton just with great speed that time, tracking Pulaski down. Pulaski really just has nowhere to go with the ball, and I'm not sure if they were trying to set up a screen to the right here, Anthony Wallace, but Racine Keaton making a fine play. Gal's going to try a field goal here with Robbie Keane to do the honors. This will be a 48-yard field goal. Waiting the snap from James Richard. The kick by Keane is up. Good. A 48-yard field goal by Robbie Keane. So a 3-0 lead for the Golden Bears, and with the Bruins unable to move the ball on the next drive, it's a cow ball again as we rejoin play. 4-17 left in the quarter, second and goal, California. Greg Zumald and Anthony Wallace, the two backs for Pulaski. He's going to throw in the end zone, and it is no good. Pulaski was going to Sean Dawkins, a slot back. And Carlton Gray was right with Dawkins. Yeah, Carlton Gray makes, he has fine position actually that time on Sean Dawkins. They're just trying to throw a little up route, a fade route they call it, and to the back corner of the end zone. Carlton Gray right there to make a fine play. The Bruins now will go with five DBs. Carlton Gray, Matt Darby, Eric Turner, Dion Lambert, and Damian Lyons. Third and 11 for Cal. Pulaski fires this pass and it's caught by Dawkins. Did he get in or not? No signal as yet. He did not get in. Stopped just shy of the goal line. Sean Dawkins. He was sandwiched by Matt Darby and Eric Turner. This is a real interesting play here. It's a delayed screen to the wide receiver. You're going to see a bunch of Cal linemen out in front there, 75 and 56. Steve Gordon, the center out there. Pulaski just flips it to Dawkins and he picks up a few blockers there down to the one foot line. The nose of the football is tickling the goal line. Fourth down and inches. It's Wallace. Touchdown, California. Anthony Wallace. Scoring his third touchdown this season. The leading rusher for Bruce Snyder and the California Bears. Snyder trying to end 18 years of frustration at the hands of UCLA. 
And this has been all Cal. Make no mistake about it here in the first quarter. They have really dominated. The point extra attempt, the point after attempt is somebody got a hand on it and went right through. Well, once again, UCLA were unable to get even a first down on their next drive, so it's the Golden Bears in possession as we rejoin play. First and ten on the Cal 47. First and ten now for California. The ball is at the 47. Uh-oh. Pulaski is throwing, and he completes it. Zumbal to the 20. Zumbal will be tackled. Boy, when you see a broken play like that, you have to say to yourself, this is going to be California's day. Well, I don't understand it, and I'm sure the UCLA defense doesn't understand it, but Pulaski just turning to pitch the ball, nobody home. He recovers his own fumble, picks up the ball and tosses it to his fullback. Zamalt, who takes off to the races. Russell White down there looking for a block, misses. The Fine. one block he should have made. Finally brought down at the four yard line, a 49 yard pass play. On a broken play. Russell White trying to leap over the pile up there and he probably didn't get anything at all. They're going to mark the ball right at the four yard line. But a broken play like that. Yeah really and truly a broken play and what I'm surprised about is that none of their linemen it looked as though it was a running play the whole way but none of their linemen got down the field so Pulaski he could throw the ball without the risk of having a flag thrown. Second and goal for California at the UCLA four. The Bears already lead 10 to nothing. Zumo and Wallace in the backfield. The pass is touchdown. Mike Pulaski to Brent Woodall. And we are still in the first quarter. That's the good news for UCLA. The bad news is. California is about to take a 17 to nothing first period lead. There's the pass and the grab made by Brent Woodall, a junior. His first touchdown catch of the season. The holder will be Mike Beebe, a third string quarterback, and Robbie Keane will attempt the extra point. is uh, 24 out of 24 make it 25 out of 25 and California has a 17 to nothing first quarter lead over UCLA with 25 seconds left in the first quarter Pulaski with a little play action fake into the line of scrimmage just comes rolling out to his right just flips the ball to Woodall Eric Turner just a step late the Golden Bears with a 17 point lead join us after the break for the second quarter Seven UCLA, the ball is at the 48 of the Bruins. 17 to nothing, California leading. I'm Mike Walden along with Tom Ramsey from Strawberry Canyon here in Berkeley. Maddox steps up and fires complete at the 44 yard line to Reggie Moore. And that'll be enough for a first down for the Bruins. Maddox throw was a little on the low side, but Moore made a nice catch. Yeah, sure was Maddox just dropping back. Does a nice job of stepping up in the pocket right there, finding Reggie Moore for the first down. And Michael Moore, no relation to Reggie, comes in at a wide receiver spot for UCLA. So you've got the two Moores in there, Michael Moore and Reggie Moore, and a new tight end, Corwin Anthony. First and ten for the Bruins at the Cal 43. 17 to nothing the Bears. Brian Brown butting heads with Cal's Ron English. Looked like uh, two Rams meeting head on. Uh, uh, really, really was true. Brian Brown running awfully hard as he has the past three weeks. Takes a hand up, just a little cut back that he makes. Boom, another big hit. He'll be sore after this game. They spot the ball at the California 34 yard line. We're a minute and 18 seconds into the second quarter. Rick Daly, Corwin Anthony, and Michael Moore, the receivers for UCLA. The give is to the fullback, Kevin Smith. He gets maybe a yard, but he only had to get about a yard to get the first down. And they will spot the ball at the 32-yard line. Ron English on the hit. 
And that'll be a first down for UCLA. Well, it looks like UCLA is settling down a little bit. They're going back to some things. They really just didn't have a chance early on in the game. The first quarter it belonged entirely to Cal. The California Bears overwhelmed them. But it's still early in the game. We still have over 13 minutes to play here in the second quarter. California leading 17 to nothing. Sean Wills, Brian Brown. And it's going to be Maddox throwing incomplete to Brown. Maddox was really pressured. The pressure being applied by Joel Dixon, the defensive tackle on the left side for California. Actually, just a great job by Maddox just to unload the ball, get it get it where they ain't. And, and this is what he does. He just drops the ball off. They're trying to set up a screen. Brian Brown covered, just does the right thing, throws the ball into the ground. Maddox is one out of five in passing for only 10 yards. We're early in the second quarter. Mike Walden and Tom Ramsey from Strawberry Canyon in Berkeley. 17 to nothing, the Cal Bears on top. Play action and Maddox rolls out to his right. May run with the ball. Cuts back against the grain. He's got a path. And he's brought down at the 24-yard line by Ron English. The Cal defense did a nice job that time rebounding and getting back into position. It looked like uh, Maddox had a pretty good alley. Yeah, he really did. An awfully nice job by Maddox on this play. He's going to roll out. And what we don't see, Reggie Moore is cutting across the field at the deep post and just... Maddox, there's no way he could see him. Maddox doing the right thing, picking up some yards with the ball. Third down and two. They will operate out of the eye. Up in front of Brian Brown is fullback Kevin Smith. Smith started the season as the number three fullback. Number one now. The pitch goes to Brown. Brown inside the 20, put down around the California 19. Tackle is made by Cornell Collier, the outside linebacker of the Bears. So the Bears and the Bruins battling here in Berkeley. The three Bs, the Bears, the Bruins in Berkeley. And it's all California, 17 to nothing so far. Brown has 35 yards in six carries. Jim Souders handling our stats today. Stage manager is Alex Wilson. Jerry Weinstein in the truck. And it'll be first and 10 now for UCLA. From the Cal 19, Maddox on the run, firing off the fingertips of Scott Miller. Dave Wilson guarding on the play for the Bears. Larry Myers, our director today, Steve Elkin, producer. Right there, you're going to see Miller just running an out route. Ball's delivered just a shade late. Second down and 10, UCLA as Miller goes wide to the left. Reggie Moore split to the right side. 17 to nothing, Cal. Tommy Maddox handing off to Brown. Big hole, Brown makes his cut at the 10, trying to get to the outside and his pull down. John Hardy grabbed him by one arm and got him to the AstroTurf at the eight yard line. But it'll be first and goal to go for UCLA at the Cal eight. Brian Brown doing a great job out of the I formation, taking the handoff from Maddox. Runs to his left, and he'll pick up a block by Scott Miller, who's really just not able to bring down John Hardy. John Hardy making a fine play on Brian Brown. Scott Miller leaves, replaced by Michael Moore. Reggie Moore is to the right side. Michael Moore to the left side. First and goal, the ball is at the California seven-yard line. That's Corwin Anthony moving over to the left side. He's the tight end. And off to Brian Brown and penalty markers dropped all over the place. Bruins getting down inside the seven yard line and let's see what this is all about. The referee is Bill Richardson. He's from Novato, California. Conferring now with uh, Charlie Stewart, the head linesman. There is no penalty on the play. The ball rolled away. We had a remark at reset the 25 second clock. Okay, Bill, we'll do just that. The ball had rolled away. I guess that means a little bit of a breeze came up there and caused the ball to move. So it'll still be first and goal for UCLA. The Bruins with the ball at the California Bears, seven. Cal, 17. UCLA, nothing. Over 11 minutes still to be played here 
in the second quarter. Officials taking a little time getting set. Now we're ready to go. First and goal, UCLA. Brian Brown, not much there. But he's trying to make something out of it. Some tough yards for Brian Brown over left tackle. They will mark his forward progress. Hanatu making the tackle for California. He's a defensive tackle. Chidia Hanatu out of Berkeley. They are going to spot the ball at the six yard line near the five. Bruce Snyder looking on his fourth year as head coach. This could be Cal's first winning season in some time. Second and five. Bruins need five yards to get a touchdown. The pitch to Brian Brown. Makes his cut at the five. He is really hammered. Gets away. Touchdown, UCLA. Oh, I mean to tell you, you talk about your hard-nosed runs. There is a primary case. Brian Brown. Looked like he was going to be stopped at the two. He would not quit. Really did. Great second effort by Brian Brown. Takes the pitch. Kevin Smith, big block out in front. A nice cut by Brown and really hit hard, but a great second effort getting into the end zone. So the Bruins have scored, and that means that UCLA's record continues. UCLA has now scored in 223 straight games, an NCAA record. Maddox will hold. D'Aloiso to tack on the extra point. And he does. So the Bruins with seven points on the board, but Cal are still ten ahead as we pick up the next drive with a Golden Bear second and ten at the UCLA 28. Seven minutes left in the half. Mike Pulaski rolling to his right, stops and now fires, threw it away. I mean, he threw that ball almost up into the stands. He wanted to make sure nobody, but nobody caught that football. That's right, Eric Turner down there hoping he would throw the ball, but not so lucky. Little over six minutes uh, left in the first half as the Cal trainer still working on Russell White. Bobby Orr's got his left arm on the shoulder. Could be a pinched nerve, but that's just a guess as I look at the monitor. I am not a medical doctor, nor do I profess to be. I'm guessing along with the rest. Third down and 10. Ball is at the 28 of UCLA. 17-7 Cal leading it. Marty Holly. A true freshman out of San Fernando, California, Marty Holly. And Holly for a touchdown run. Well, what happens, Cal ends up motioning Zumalt, the fullback, wide and leaves nobody in the middle. UCLA's defense, nobody home. That's the first touchdown for the true freshman, Marty Holly. And it's only the fifth time that Polly has carried the ball this season. And we're into the seventh game of the 1990 campaign. Keen to try to kick the extra point, and he drills it. So the California Golden Bears taking their lead to 17 points again. Well, the team swapped field goals at the end of the second period to bring the score to 27-10 California at the break. Join us in a minute for the second half. Well, California extended their lead to 30 points to 10 at the start of the third quarter with this 31-yard field goal and looks set to end that 20-year streak of Bruin victories in the series. With eight and a half minutes left in the quarter, however, it's a first and 10 Bruins on their own 26. Wills is to the left of Maddox, Brian Brown to the right. Pass is complete, Scott Miller, and he's dropped in his tracks. Good defensive play by the right cornerback, Dave Wilson. He's from the Los Angeles area, went to Reseda High School. In fact, Wilson was the Los Angeles City Defensive Player of the Year in 1987. Scott Miller leaves, replaced by Michael Moore. UCLA band is here today, the Song Girls. And the California Golden Bears have a 30 to 10 lead over UCLA midway through the third quarter. Maddox rifles this right on target to Sean LaChapelle. And LaChapelle is dropped in his tracks by the strong safety, Ron English. 
13 yards and a first down. And that's probably the best pass that Maddox has thrown the whole game. Yeah, UCLA is finding it to be a little bit easier moving the ball through the air. Cal's defensive secondary really isn't rated that high. Their running defense is quite a bit better. Don't you suppose the defense is slacking off a little bit saying, hey, we'll give you the five, six yard pass, but we're not going to give you the touchdown. Yes. With a 30 to 10 lead. Maddox steps up. He's got a path. He's going to run. And he runs right into Scott Spaulding, and then is dropped by John Belli, the nose guard of the California Bears. It appeared that had Maddox wanted to take off to a path to his left side, he could have picked up maybe 10, 12 yards. Yeah, or he actually could have dumped the ball off to one of the backs. I know that. I'm going to take a look at Belli there. Belli. John Belli out of Fresno, California, was a walk on when he came here to Cal four years ago. California 30, UCLA 10. Again from the shotgun formation. Lanzino at center. Maddox will air it out if he can. He's going to run. And Maddox dives in around the 41-yard line of Cal. That'll be enough for a UCLA first down. 11 yards on the scramble by redshirt freshman quarterback Tommy Maddox. Tackle was made by Eric Zomon. That's Greg's younger brother. Maddox once again Cal falling back into a zone defense and really nowhere to go with the ball does what he really should do and that's run ahead and get the first down La Chapelle wide right Scott Miller and Michael Moore are wide to the left side and again the Bruins will operate out of the shotgun it's so far been working on this drive Maddox goes for Reggie knocked away from Sean Wills. Sean Wills going for the ball along with Cal's Dave Wilson. Well, it's awfully tough to get this ball in against his own defense. Wills is running out to the flat and then as he comes to the sideline he turns it up the field and Wills actually makes a fine play. They're not allowing the ball to get intercepted. Reggie Moore comes to the right side. Sean Wills Brian Brown flanking the man in the middle and that is the quarterback Tommy Maddox Maddox rifles this pass to La Chapelle and La Chapelle's got another first down for UCLA around the Cal 30 tackle was made by the true freshman for the Bears Eric Zummel 11 yards on the throw Miller to La Chapelle You know, in his own quiet way, La Chapelle has really come to the fore in the last four or five games. He really has. He's really played well and much more consistent. California 30, UCLA 10. You know something? The Bruins are not out of this game yet. To Scott Miller. Can he catch up with it? No. Dave Wilson matching Miller stride for stride. Well, that time, Cal gambling again, bringing people. They're blitzing, leaving UCLA in a man-to-man -man defense with Reggie Moore and Scott Miller. Maddox trying to get the ball to Miller, just out of his reach and out of bounds. So it'll be second and ten. And again, the Bruins will operate out of their passing formation. The ball is at the California 31. It's California 30 and UCLA 10. Five and a half minutes still to be played in the third quarter. I'm Mike Walden along with Tom Ramsey. The pass right on target to La Chapelle. La Chapelle struggles to get to the six yard line. Dave Wilson had a hold of one foot and finally pulled him down. Just a great, just a great play by Maddox this time. A gain of 25. Maddox going to once again elude defenders, step up in the pocket and rifle a ball to La Chapelle, who gets up the field, makes a nice move there, almost gets free for a touchdown. So it'll be first and goal to go UCLA the ball at the California six Kevin Smith up in front of Brian Brown Corwin Anthony is the tight end the pitch to Brian Brown makes his cut at the five touchdown Brian Brown UCLA and credit the tight end Randy Austin with a key block as Brown motored around the right side big block very big block by Randy Austin you're going to see a six yard run by Brian Brown 
picking up some key blocks. Kevin Smith with a key block as well. And Brown really just turns on the Jets right there, uses his speed to the corner of the end zone. An awfully big drive for UCLA. The holder will be the quarterback, Tommy Maddox. And the kicker, Brad D'Aloiso, a senior from San Diego. Making the snap will be Derek Stevens. D'Aloiso adds the extra point. 13 here at the start of the fourth. Second and nine for the California Bears, Russell White. Look at him go! Russell White! What an effort! It took outside linebacker Roman Pfeiffer to bring him down. First and goal to go for the California Bears at the UCLA 5. Well, Russell White patterns his style of play after one of the great ones, Walter Payton. And right here, you see him just keep his legs going. Second and third effort, great run by Russell White. And also a great effort by that Cal offensive line, especially Ernie Rogers and James Richards. First and goal for California. The Bears could put it away right here. Let's see. Here is Russell White trying to get to the outside. Touchdown! Russell White. It's been some time since I've been coming up here to Berkeley to hear the crowd make more noise than the cannon. I've never heard the cannon go off quite so many times myself, but Russell White taking the handoff from Poloski, getting some great blocking once again up front, scoots in for the touchdown. It appeared that Anwat Twebby had a shot at him. Right about there. And Anwat Twebby is down at the five-yard line. Russell White. Presby High School, six feet tall, 200 pounds, a 20-year-old sophomore. And that for Russell White, his eighth touchdown this season. A lot of people want to compare him to his uncle, Charlie White, formerly of USC, the Trojans Heisman Trophy winner. I think that Russell definitely has more speed than Charlie, and he's a little bit larger than Charlie. The Bears going for the two-point conversion. The pass is caught. Brian Trague. And every number is coming up in favor of the California Bears. The Bears can do no wrong here today at Strawberry Canyon. Well, Pulaski just throws the ball to Brian Treggs, who really comes out of what you would call a pick play. Nice play by Cal. So UCLA faced with an almost unassailable Cal lead, but they pull back seven points on this two-yard run and a kick by Daloizo. Now with just nine minutes left in the game, it's first and ten Bruins on the Cal 45. First down for UCLA at the Cal 45. The Bruins are not out of this game yet even though UCLA trails 38 to 24. And we have over eight minutes to play, 8-10 to be exact. Tommy Maddox steps up, and now he's gonna go down. Joel Dixon makes his fourth quarterback sack of the season and his 18th career quarterback sack. Well, Dixon just comes barraging on in, and. Cal only rushing three three players on that particular play, but still making the sack. Second and 12, UCLA. The ball now back to the Cal 47. From the shotgun, Maddox steps up and fires this pass, and it is caught. Michael Moore down to the 29 of the California Bears. And I'll tell you one thing, Maddox really had some juice on that pass. Well, he really did. He had his feet set that time and really whistled one into Michael Moore. Cal's only rushing three this time, dropping eight in pass coverage, and Max really coming through that time, much like a baseball player throwing to Michael Moore. Moore was tackled by Cornell Collier. Bruins with the first down at the 29 of Cal. Maddox rifles this behind Moore, who had made his cut, and he tried to reach out with his left hand to gather it in. Ray Sanders playing back at free safety for Cal. Sanders didn't start the game today because of an injury but he's in there now. Brian Adams 
Comes in as a wide receiver for UCLA. It'll be Reggie Moore, Brian Adams, and Michael Moore, the wide receivers. Cal fans having a few anxious moments right now. 7-18 to play. California leading by 14, 38-24. Maddox steps up. Got a chance to run. Lays it off to Adams, and he can't hold on. Pass was thrown a little bit behind the true freshman. And that will mean third down for UCLA. Ten yards to go. Ball is at the 29 of the California Bears. Terry Donahue. Conferring on the sidelines. That's what UCLA has done in third down conversions. Big play right here for the Bruins. No doubt about it with 7-10 to go. From the shotgun. Tommy Maddox steps up. Fires the pass. It's caught by Reggie Moore at the five. Moore is twisted. Fumbles the ball into the end zone. And the Bruins have a touchdown. Scott Miller makes the recovery. Touchdown, UCLA. The alert, Scott Miller. He will never get an easier touchdown. That's right. Well, it wasn't pretty, but this time UCLA gets the bounce of the ball. Maddox... Reggie Moore really an outlet receiver that time streaking across the middle of the field. I'm not sure. I believe Wilson was the one that ripped the ball out. Miller right there to fall on it for touchdown. Here's the extra point attempt by Daloiso. Hey, we've got ourselves a ball game here in Strawberry Canyon. So now just seven points in the game. Well, we pick up Cal's next drive with a third and three on their own 29 yard line. 536 left in the game. Third down and three. Pulaski throws. The pass is caught by Craigs. And Craigs gets up to about the 35-yard line. First down for California. Damian Lyons made the tackle. But what a big third down play for Cal. Very big third down play. They're going to go with something that they've done all game. And that's Pulaski to Treggs. Just a little quick turnaround hitch. Gets enough for the first down. California 38, UCLA 31 as the Bears try to end 19 years of frustration at the hands of UCLA. It is Anthony Wallace. The Bruins say that Wallace fumbled. Indeed, indeed. Pfeiffer makes the recovery. Oh, my, what a change of events. Roman Pfeiffer comes up with that recovery. And the Bruins will have a first down at the Cal 37. Well, it's just a little misdirection to Wallace, and Pfeiffer just rips the ball from Wallace. Pfeiffer, Johnny on the spot, really an impact player for the Bruins, comes, comes away with the biggest play of the day so far. And Roman Pfeiffer has missed the last couple of games because of an injury. That's the first turnover in the game today. UCLA with a first and 10 at the California 37. The Bruins need seven points to tie and eight to go out in front. Five minutes left in the game. Tommy Maddox pass, no good. Scott Miller was down and out towards the sidelines trying to catch up, but he couldn't do it. Remember that UCLA-Stanford game, the second game of the year? The Bruins won it in the last second. 32 to 31. Another nail biter here at Strawberry Canyon in Berkeley. Right Looking here. over the shoulder of Stacy Argo. Second down and 10. Sean Wills and Brian Brown flanking the quarterback, Tommy Maddox. Maddox rifles this. The pass is made and grabbed by Reggie Moore. Down UCLA at the California 17 yard line. Michael Davis made the tackle. 20 yards from Maddox to Reggie Moore. Well, when you need a big play, go to your most experienced receiver right there, Reggie Moore, jumping, making a great catch right there. Maddox delivering the ball on time. Moore with a great reception ahead for the first down. And did Maddox have some juice on that throw? Four and a half minutes left, first and ten for UCLA. The ball is at the California 18. 
Maddox will load it up again under a heavy rush. Off to Sean LaChapelle. Tackled in his tracks at the 14. They will mark his forward progress at the California 14-yard line. So that was a pickup of about three. Right here, LaChapelle La in the slot to the left side. Maddox once again getting pressure, being blitzed once again. Delivers the ball to LaChapelle. Hardy right there to make the tackle. Scott Miller goes wide to the right side. Michael Moore is in the slot to the right. Again, out of the shotgun. Second and six. UCLA with the ball at the Cal 14. Tommy Maddox looking for Reggie Moore. He's going to be sacked. Loses the ball. Cal has it. seen this much enthusiasm on the Cal Berkeley campus in years, maybe decades. Cal once again coming with the blitz, putting a lot of heat on Maddox. It's Michael Davis that made the hit. Michael Davis jarring the ball away from Tommy Maddox. And Joel Dixon. Dixon right there to fall on top of the ball. UCLA fumbling the ball and with it their last chance of a win. California took the ball with 3.43 left and ran out the clock for an eight-point victory and a Gatorade shaft for head coach Bruce Snyder. After 19 years of frustration at the hands of UCLA, it is over. The Bears are finally going to beat UCLA in football for the first time in since 1971 and the first time here in Berkeley since 1968.